Welcome to the stand of SEAT here at Geneva. Today they're going to celebrate, let's say, three world premieres. One is a thing which is called micro-mobility, but this one they showed already on the Mobile World Congress. But the next one is a real new car, which is the first fully electric SEAT ever. But for me, I think most important is the brand new Cupra. About a year ago, SEAT introduced its new performance brand, Cupra. And shortly after the brand's first production vehicle, the Cupra Taker rolls on our roads, Cupra is showing a new concept in Geneva. The Cupra Formentor is a mix of an SUV and a sports car. So now I found the head of design of Cupra, the new SEAT performance brand. Uh, Alejandro, I have a question. How hard is, is it for you as a designer to build a beauty like this for the new performance brand called Cupra? Well, you know, when we are passionate about what we do, it's not so hard. It's actually, it's fun. Uh, and when we talk about the, the, the car, what are your design highlights regarding to the new so that's a first real Cupra car, because it's not a production car from said it's a brand new car. What are your design highlights with that car? Well, first of all, I think that uh, the, the secret of the beauty of the, of the Cupra Formentor is the, the right proportions. It's a car that uh, has the right, the right stance on the road, with the right proportion between the hood, the cabin. A design that is simple, but uh, that has a lot of character. You can see that from the front, uh, the expressiveness of the of the seat metal on the side with the lines which are really which really have a lot of tension but uh, as I said a lot of simplicity also uh, but I have to tell you a secret my favorite uh, view of the car is the three-quarter rear this is where you have the most uh, or the strongest image of the Cupra Formentor we just talked about the I would say the wing over the rear wheel arches uh, what is that for? I really like it, but there is a design idea behind it. Yeah, the design idea is actually uh, to stretch in the side view. You have to imagine the car in side view. To stretch the front as much as we can, so it looks very long, with a long hood, long cabin, and then at the back there is a concentration of, uh, of tension with this uh, blister or power line that underlines the rear wheelers and it gives the impression that the car is almost like a rear wheel drive. You feel that the, the power uh, transfer is, is happening at the rear wheel by this design. And, and just one last question. We, so, we see this, this is a concept car. Um, how will the production car look like? Basically, uh, it will be the same thing that you are looking today. I'm sure that when I show you uh, in one year time, both cars together, the production and the concept, you won't be able to tell the difference from 10 meters distance. The strong sloping roof line creates the look of a crossover coupe. On top there is a light strip connecting the LED taillights as well as a large diffuser in four exhaust pipes. The Formentor also features a fully digital cockpit and a 10-inch central display for the entertainment system. In addition to the nice and modern looking mix of materials on the dashboard, the side air outtakes are real eye catchers. They are featuring the design of the radiator grille, but also the seats with their integrated headrests make an impression. With the broad open shoulders they look like the bucket seats of a real racing car. The powertrain of the plug-in hybrid is based on a combination of a powerful petrol engine and a high-torque electric motor. In total, the Cupra Formentor offers 180 kilowatts or 245 horsepower, which are transferred on the road by a dual-clutch transmission. On top, the sports crossover can drive up to 50 kilometers purely electric. So next to me now is Fabian Zimmer. He's digital officer at Seat. Fabian, you just presented the first fully electric vehicle of Seat. How well prepared is that car for the future? Well, this car is very well prepared, but I would say not only the car, but the brand itself, because today here in Geneva, we are really showing our pro uh, product offensive in terms of e-mobility, starting with the mi Minimo, which is a micro-mobility urban car for the urban environment. We have the Elborn here, which is the latest technology, which is available based on the MEB platform of the VW Group, which is state of the art of what's available in terms of e-mobility in the world today. And we have the Cupra Formentor, which is a plug-in hybrid, which shows also how we are able to apply uh, e-mobility on a high-performance model. When we talk about the future of cars, we of course have to talk about connectivity and autonomous driving. What is the plan at Seat and Cupra regarding to that? 
Well, actually, when you already asked that question, I was very happy that we finally present these cars here because uh, as a digital officer, when you talk about connectivity, I was really wanting to for these cars to re be presented because there we have much more freedom. We have an online connectivity unit where we are actually able to do software remote updates, where we are able to play around with integration of third-party apps, where we are able to play around with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Gives you a lot of uh, freedom. Uh, very much different to, to what we have had in the past. And what's also really interesting, especially you talked about autonomous driving, this vehicle will be equipped with level two autonomous driving, where for certain moments and in certain situations you are able to not be fully concentrated on the road, to have a conversation with a uh, co-pilot, for example, always being ready in order to intervene uh, in the driving. But this is really a step forward and shows you the road uh, which lies ahead of us uh, in order to come to the next levels of autonomous driving. You just mentioned the thing called micromobility with a Minimo. What is that? What is it all about? Well, micromobility, I mean, we are the youngest brand uh, or the, the brand with the youngest customers within the VW group. We are the brand which where customers actually think twice before buying a car or not all of them are needing needing a car in their daily life, but they have to move. And so I think it's from our point of view, our responsibility as well to come up with the right products for these people living in urban areas. So we have been actually the first brand who actually introduces uh, Kick Scooter, where we have had a, a development project uh, with Segway, which is the main leader of uh, micromobility products. We have been working for so quite some time on the Minimo, which is the ideal vehicle for urban use, and especially for mobility services use in order to decrease operation costs and we really were keen to present that to the public in order to get the feedback in order to integrate that as well in the future development. The Elborn offers a range of 420 kilometers based on the new WLTP test cycle. Alejandro, we're here in front of the first purely electric Seat ever. How hard or how challenging is it for you as a designer to create a car like this without losing the spirit of Seat? Well, this is um, actually a, a real challenge. It was a real challenge to create this uh, Seat Elborn, our first electric vehicle, because the architecture is new. And then um, this always uh, has to, we have to find always a new way of expressing the typical values from Seat when we have a new architecture. Basically, uh, Elborn, um, it leaves, let's say, or its architecture leaves from the disposition of the batteries in the floor pan, which makes the car uh, having a very long wheelbase, very short overhangs, pretty tall, uh, because the occupants are above the batteries, and also a very advanced or cab forward cabin, because of aerodynamics, but also because there is no engine at the front. So we're using the, the, the space uh, of no engine, let's say, uh, for the cabin, for the occupants. So it's a, all in all a new architecture, a new opportunity, and as you can see, a Seat, but that lives with a new technology. The rear is decorated with LED taillights in the typical Seat design, which are connected by a light strip. Another eye catcher is the large double wing spoiler, which optimizes the aerodynamics of the Seat El Born and supports the sporty look. The interior looks clear and modern. In addition to the digital cockpit, a 10-inch display for the infotainment system is located in the center of the dashboard. To be well prepared for the future, the Seat El Born has systems that allow partial automation of the vehicle steering, acceleration and braking. That was it from the Seat stand. And I really have to say I do like the Minimo, the micro-mobility concept a lot because that's for me the future of urban mobility. But on top of this, I think a lot more important is the first fully electric car of the brand, the El Born. And what I think is absolutely surprising is how much space that car offers at the interior. But I have to say, I absolutely fell in love with the new Cupra Formentor, and especially because they told me they will bring that car to the market with bigger engines.